So Father, we just come before you humbly that, um, that you would use uh, three men that would just surrender and say, okay, Father, would it be possible in a Shoney's booth uh, many years ago, they were told it was impossible to start a school, a high school, but you did. A few years later, it was impossible for us to buy this facility behind us, uh, the main campus, uh, but you did. It was impossible, some people say, to start an elementary school. It was impossible to buy more land. It was impossible to uh, redo this place and this ground that we are standing. But yet you are the God of the impossible. You are the God of Ephesians 320 that you will do immeasurably more than what we can imagine or think. So as we stand here, Father, for many years from now, Lord, if you just continue to continue to bless generation after generation after generation that comes through these doors, may they look at this sign behind us and remembering these three men and the Holy Spirit and how you laid on their heart and look what God has done. So Lord, I pray a blessing on them. So Lord, I pray that you will bless us and keep us. May your face shine upon us. May you be gracious to us. And may you give us peace in Jesus' name. Amen. We're encouraged in Proverbs to trust in the Lord with all of our heart and to lean not on our own understanding. And in all our ways acknowledge Him and He will make our path straight. And we looked at that verse a couple days ago and making our path straight was more of Him directing that path because that path might not be straight. All I say is continue to soar, continue to soar, continue to trust God because what I've heard, you've trusted God a lot. I heard about times when you didn't know how it would happen, but God provided. So I am honored to be in partnership with you all. Coach Thorne, I have to believe that more than once in those early years of Landmark, you said something to the effect when it's too tough for others, it's just right for us. Landmark students are equipped academically, athletically, but more importantly, they can continue to share their light of Christ. For their life dedicated to serving the Lord, for their relentless pursuit of equipping the saints, for their impact, their mentorship, and the role that they played in hundreds more, probably thousands of parents, of faculty, and students. We name this alumni plaza the Fred and Sheila Gilkison Alumni Plaza. I think as we cut this ribbon today, we're marching toward new opportunities and new experiences. Our new Landmark High School building is full of promise and exciting adventures ahead. It is also a tribute to the hard work and dedication that went before to establish this amazing and cherished Landmark tradition. As a parent of two Landmark graduates and as a principal of this new high school, I am grateful, I am enthusiastic, and I am motivated by the possibilities that lie ahead for Landmark and our students. For participating in this celebration, we appreciate your presence, your enthusiasm, and your support. Because without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. School's open.